All right. Oh man, it is the end of the day. This is a Wednesday. Um, I didn't record after Tuesday because I got pretty busy. I ended up working till about like 7.30 at night. And then I just um, went to go feed my cats and then we cooked some dinner, enjoyed a little Netflix with my wife and our dog. And it was pretty much the end of Tuesday. Monday also was like a very slow day. Uh, it was like a big meeting that I had on Microsoft Teams on this screen. And then I was designing over here, answering a question or two and still designing in the background because I have some deadlines I had to meet. But it was pretty much answering an email, looking at applications, looking out what people do in construction, and then putting that onto a design sketch in GIS. That is the platform I use for designing, like I mentioned earlier. So this is Wednesday, hopefully Thursday uh, comes in a little bit different. I'm, I'm hoping I pick up another project will have me designing in MicroStation. So that'd be cool to talk about. Uh, hopefully that happens tomorrow. So we'll see, because this is a real week uh, in work as a remote engineer. So let's see it on Thursday. This is now um, Thursday afternoon, a uh, little after lunch time. I didn't listen to the update for Windows, so now I have to wait. Six and a half hours later. So while that's going, I can explain how I spend most of the day. Most of the day is involved in designing, permitting, coordinating, and keeping up with all the jobs that I've done in the past. In one year alone, which was last year, I did about 350 projects. So I started all of them and I followed them all the way through. One project can go two years. It really depends on who the client is and how quickly they want that project turned around. And for most of them, they'll be done within eight months of following it from one task down to another. And usually it goes through several levels of QC, uh, quality control. So my supervisor reviews my design initially, then a third party supervisor reviews and approves and puts payment request. And then the client will receive all of that. And then they send the green light, like, you know, it's good. Everything's, um, cost-effective route that you could figure out and let's get it going and they'll pay for it then it comes back to me and after it's paid for i'm design i fix up the design per at that level and say it's been paid for all the adjustments have been made and it's finalized then it goes to another supervisor review and then my supervisor looks at it again so there's so many qc levels so that's why I have like, I have a spreadsheet in the computer and then I have my handwritten because I trust that I can always come back to this if anything ever happens on the C drive that I have. Uh, Cause I am remote, I am virtual, um, virtually connected on their server. And with that, I could, I've, I've spent days where I don't have access to the server and all of my, like pretty much my OneDrive is empty. Um, because so with that, I've kind of trying to do like, you know, what? if somebody calls me and I can't get into the server, IT is trying to fix it. I can always resort to my handwritten stuff. So, you know, and it is 422. So I'm going to feed my dog right now. All right. It is Friday. The end of the week and usually I try to go hard uh, you know ham in the beginning of the week maybe Monday Tuesday Wednesday is like the most hours I put into my uh, regular job and for my freelance gig as many of you have seen in the other video that I put up I write uh, for two websites on everything to do with electrical engineering mainly power uh, renewable energy things of that nature, anything that's an update or yeah, just go check it out. I have the links uh, in the description to both websites that I write for. You know, one of them is like a two to three day turnaround. And then the other website, I have a, a, the agreement with one of the editors that it's once a week, which helps me out because balancing work and the writing is no joke. It, it's really hard. It's two jobs basically because editing, researching, writing, putting your thoughts down and all of that takes time. 
and I never like to rush my articles. Uh, I spent about six hours last night, like after work, um, processing, reading, and like going, I just not processing, it's not like a computer. I was <laughs> reading, reading all the topics that I had to go through within the topic that I got assigned. So it dealt with quantum computing. I am familiar with quantum computing and it, but I'm not like anywhere near uh, intermediate level of understanding. So I did a lot of research last night. I watched some videos and read up more on the company that I was writing about and that helped set me up this morning. And then I started regular work. I knocked that out and now for the writing, took about like two hours to put all my thoughts down. Thank you again for tuning in and this whole work week that I have put together. I'm glad to share it because a lot of people have the question of what do you do working remotely as an electrical engineer? And hopefully that provided some insight. I will answer some questions if you feel free to comment on the bottom and or shoot me an email. And then maybe I'll post another video about the type of work I do. Depends on the questions I receive. So on that note, I'll see you later. You feel me, Ohms?